Disney announced another brand new cruise ship. We got the opening date for Communicore Hall and Plaza in Epcot. A brand new Encanto show is in production. A new drone show is coming this summer and so much more. All the latest theme park news is coming up right now on DFB Guide. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. So June 10th is shaping up to be a big day for the Disney parks with new shows, new meet and greets, and even a fun celebration for a classic Disney film. But let's start with some major cruise line news. Get ready, Disney fans. We are here to officially announce the Disney Destiny cruise ship. This will be a sister ship to the Wish and the Treasure, and Disney revealed that the ship will have a first-of-its-kind design theme. Aboard the Disney Destiny, you'll have to choose a side. The ship's theme will be inspired by heroes and villains, and will draw on the legacies of beloved Disney stories, characters, and theme park attractions. I love that last part. So look out for both heroes and villains on board the ship, including characters from The Lion King, 100 101 Dalmatians and Hercules, and Disney teased new spaces and experiences and entertainment on the ship, inspired by the heroes and villains of those popular Disney films. Disney confirmed that the ship will set sail in 2025, that is very soon. We can't wait to learn more about the new experiences that are going to happen on board. More details are coming soon, so stay tuned. The best way to stay tuned, by the way, is to sign up for our free newsletter. It's completely free, we send all the biggest news straight to your inbox, and the link to sign up is in the description box below. Now we have giant Epcot news next. Communicore Hall and Communicore Plaza will finally open on June 10th in Epcot. Communicore Plaza is an outdoor space where you can come to relax and experience all the festivals have to offer. There's also going to be an area that can host large scale concerts or an intimate performance that extends out into the gardens nearby. On the other hand, Communicore Hall will be the first fully purpose built structure in festival programming designed with flexibility in mind. This is going to be able to host a wide variety of experiences experiences with food and art, live music, and more. Disney clarified that this area will be open year-round, not just during festivals, and then it will be a place to take in some air conditioning while relaxing too. Now there's also going to be a demonstration kitchen and a mixology bar and an exhibition gallery space here. The hall is designed to help extend the festival experience and give chefs new ways to connect and experiment. For those of us who remember back when the festival center was in the Wonders of Life pavilion, I'm guessing it's going to be kind of similar to that. You can be sure that all of our festival guides will have updated information about Communicore Hall and Plaza. We detail every schedule, event, and tasty morsel so you can get the absolute most out of your precious festival time. Use code YouTube for an extra special discount. And yeah, I'm pretty proud of those full calendars of events that we have in these festival books. You're not going to find those anywhere else. Now, we've been waiting for this for a long time, and it will be great to have all the walls down in Epcot very soon. That's right, all of those central walls, because I think they said something about Inspiration Gardens is gonna open up as well. So Communicore Hall, Plaza, Inspiration Gardens, all the walls should be down by June 10th. And also on June 10th, to kick off that Epcot celebration, a brand new Encanto stage show is coming to World Celebration. This show is going to be called Celebration Encanto and is a sing-along that includes some popular songs from the movie. The show is going to be running several times a day, and it's going to take place on the Communicore Plaza stage. You'll even be able to see Bruno and Mirabelle throughout the show. But this show is limited time. It's currently got an end date of September 6th. So if this is something you want to check out, make sure you start planning your trip. And I am so jazzed to tell you about the drone show coming to Disney World. You know how we always say that like Disneyland Paris, Tokyo Disney, they get those cool drone shows and it's not fair that Disney doesn't get them. Well, guess what, y'all? It is time. If you're planning to visit Disney World this summer, don't forget to plan an evening to hang out at Disney Springs. Not only is there a ton of shopping, some amazing eats and some beautiful views, but a new experience has been announced that you can expect. A drone show called Disney Dreams That Soar is inspired by Disney stories showcasing flight. These drones are programmed to create designs in the sky and will be accompanied by a beautiful musical score that includes some memorable movie quotes. We think it's beautiful. That's what Disney's saying. Now, who remembers the last drone show that was in Disney Springs? This was a long, long time ago, definitely before I started DFB. 
JFB. That's the only place we've ever seen a drone show in Disney World. Looks like it's coming back to the same location. Now, you'll be able to check out this show beginning on May 24th, but it is only here for a limited time. So be sure to check it out by September 2nd or else you're going to be missing out. This show is planned to be a late night perk for those still hanging out at Disney Springs, so be sure to plan your next park day accordingly. Also beginning on June 10th, we will be able to meet a new Pixar character in Hollywood Studios, Joy from Inside Out. She's going to be joining a bunch of her Pixar pals just in time for the release of Inside Out 2. Previously, we could meet Joy in Imageworks at Epcot, but according to the Disney website, Joy is being temporarily relocated, so she will eventually make her way back to Epcot. Only time will tell, but we'll be on the lookout. And that's not the only character news we've got this week. Over at Disney's Animal Kingdom, they are going to celebrate the 30th anniversary of The Lion King. This celebration will commence on, guess when, June 10th. Such a massive date. And will end on September 6th, 2024. Of course, we're getting a brand new merchandise collection and some new snacks to celebrate, but there are some even bigger things coming for the celebration. The meet and greet of Timon and Rafiki is returning. You'll be able to meet them at Rafiki's Planet Watch, so be sure to hop on the Wildlife Express so you can take advantage of this rare meet and greet coming back for a limited time. So it's been a huge week for Star Wars fans. Recently, the Empire decided to take over the building that shares its name. Yep, the Empire State Building in New York City. You can visit all the Star Wars displays at the Empire State Building through April 29th. Disney also revealed a ton of new Star Wars merchandise coming soon, both at the Disney Parks and the Disney Store. There was even a Target exclusive item in the merchandise reveal drop. But what got us most excited is that we'll soon be able to try True Moo Blue Milk in grocery stores. It says it's blue colored vanilla low fat milk with other flavors, which makes us think it might be a little different than the blue milk from the parks. The blue milk in the parks is dairy free, but this one is still gonna be at the top of our grocery list. And for a limited time, starting on May the 4th, a collectible Salvage Stormtrooper helmet popcorn bucket is going to be available at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland. Even better, you can get it with popcorn, sure, but you can also get it with French fries and Galma garlic puffs. Now, this will also come to Disney World at some point in May, too. Disney World just recently revealed new outfits for cast members who work on Main Street USA. Now, this part of Magic Kingdom has a very turn of the century vibe, so the new costumes do still reflect that, but they're also made with lightweight, breathable fabrics and are made from recyclable materials. We asked a cast member at the Emporium on Main Street USA for a few more details on these costumes and found out that the costumes are mostly made of interchangeable pieces, so each cast member can put together their own look. So the next time you visit Main Street USA, be sure to let the cast members know how sharp they look in their new gear. Typhoon Lagoon, one of Disney's water parks, reopened for the summer season on March 17th. We were there on opening day to check it all out, and there's specifically some snacks I want to tell you about. We headed on over to Typhoon Tilly's to get the Dole Whip bathtub sundae. It's definitely something. It's made with Dole Whip pineapple, Dole Whip strawberry, and green matcha tea soft serve. We also found some new food to try over at Leaning Palms, starting with the pork elote nachos made with pork, tricolor nacho chips, jalapeno cheese sauce, elote corn dip, jalapenos, and guacamole with chopped cilantro. I will say that these nachos have made our list for the best things we've eaten so far in 2024, and stay tuned for that video coming to the channel soon. Now, since Typhoon Lagoon has reopened, that means that Disney's other water park, Blizzard Beach, has closed. Only one water park is operational at a time. But did you know, for stays starting January 1st, 2025 through December 31st, 2025, Disney World Resort Hotel guests, including Disney Vacation Club properties, will get a free park ticket to the water parks to use on their arrival day. You'll be able to use this perk either at Blizzard Beach Water Park or Typhoon Lagoon Water Park and only on your check-in day. So if you're planning a Disney World trip in 2025, you might want to take advantage of that free ticket and maybe go get those nachos. So an entire land will be closing in Disneyland. Critter Country at Disneyland is home to a couple of shops and restaurants in addition to the ride, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. The land is also home to Splash Mountain and will be home to the new Tiana's Bayou Adventure, but it will look very different when the ride finally opens. Disney's announced that beginning May 1st, 2024, Critter Country will be closed temporarily to make way for two new shops, Ray's Berets and Lewis's Critter Club. 
Ray's Berets is going to replace the Briar Patch and will offer headwear, apparel, accessories, toys, and more. And Lewis's Critter Club will occupy the left-hand side of Pooh Corner and will offer even more apparel and accessories, home decor, and more Princess Tiana-themed stuff. Hungry Bear Restaurant will remain open while the land is refurbished, but the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh will be closed. Currently, no changes are planned for the attraction, and it's expected to reopen with the land. Fans of Pooh Corner need not fret, though. The middle and treats side of the shop will remain as is and continue to offer merchandise from Hundred Acre Wood along with its famous sweets like those Tigger Tails. D23, the ultimate Disney fan event, takes place this summer from August 9th to the 11th. The event will have panels and presentations from Disney executives where we expect to learn a lot more about Disney's entertainment and theme park plans. There will be exhibits featuring Disney artifacts, a special sweepstakes, exclusive merchandise, and a whole lot more. There's a lot happening. The 2024 D23 Expo, or D23, the ultimate Disney fan event, takes place in Anaheim, California. Most of the event is held in the Anaheim Convention Center, but three special showcases will be held at the nearby Honda Center. Tickets go on sale starting March 26th, and we're expecting them to sell out really, really fast. We're talking within minutes. There will be virtual queues. For all the info on this special event, click the link in the description box below. We've got an article explaining everything you need to know, including our best tips on how to snag tickets. It is definitely spring season right now in Epcot with the Flower and Garden Festival, but if you're heading to the park soon to celebrate it, we need to warn you, something has changed. While you're exploring all the food and beautiful topiaries the festival has to offer, you can also pay $9.99 to play a super fun scavenger hunt, Spike's Pollination Exploration. We played the game on the first day of the festival, and when we returned our game board, our prize was getting to choose a miniature game of cornhole. You had your choice between sets featuring Spike the Bee, Coco, Epcot logo, or Orange Bird. We loved this prize, but alas, now it has changed. Now, if you complete the scavenger hunt, you'll receive a cute orange bird magnet as your prize. Not as good as the cornhole. We aren't quite sure why this prize changed, but it could be because they ran out of the cornhole sets and have this prize as a backup. We're really hoping they ordered more of the mini cornhole sets and they returned before the end of the festival, but there's no guarantee. So Disney's Vero Beach Resort is a Disney Vacation Club resort located near the city of, you guessed it, Vero Beach, Florida. It's located right on the beach and is very close to the Indian River. The resort itself has a ton of things to do, including a pool with a water slide, shuffleboard, bike rentals, outdoor movies, boogie boarding. It's basically your Disney beach vacation. Now, this resort is worth the stay any time of the year, but it's getting back one of its most exciting experiences, a character breakfast. Soon, you're going to be able to dine with Goofy and Pluto again at one of the hotel's restaurants, Wind & Waves Grill. The breakfast will be available on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. starting on April 20th. Reservations are now open, so head to Vero Beach Resort's website to book your breakfast now. We are back with another snack hack we think you're going to love. This is one of the easier hacks because you can get everything you need in one location. There are two special Epcot Flower and Garden Festival snacks at the Refreshment Outpost. There's the seasonal fruit parfait made with sweet chili sauce and Dole Whip mango for seven bucks. And you can also get an ice cream float made with tangerine soft serve and Barks red cream soda for $6.75. Now here's what we did. We took that mango Dole Whip and ask for it with the Barks Red Cream Soda to create our own Mango Dole Whip float. Even better, we were just charged the price of the float, which is $6.75, so this hack is under seven bucks. Score! And it's very pretty. So how does it taste? Well, we didn't get much of the cream soda flavor, but the soda seems to pull some of the fruitier flavors from the Mango Dole Whip. It almost reminded us of a tropical fruit punch, but we really loved how refreshing this hack turned out to be. Now, it's no secret that Caramel Kusha holds a special place in our hearts here at DFE for some of the best treats in Epcot. So imagine our surprise when we saw an old favorite had returned to the menu. The Werther's Original Caramel Chocolate Cookie Sandwich is made out of two soft chocolate cookies sandwiched with Werther's Original Caramel and Salted Caramel Buttercream Frosting for $7.29. It's like a big old salted caramel chocolate whoopie pie. Now it's almost like a big kid's Oreo with creamy caramel. We would have welcomed even more of the caramel drizzle in the center of the salted caramel buttercream frosting, but the salted caramel buttercream frosting was enough to stand all on its own and eat by itself. And it even held up well against the sunshine and the heat of the day for quite a while. The chocolate cake pieces that made up the sandwich are dense and decadent and chocolatey. They tasted just like two pieces of chocolate flavor birthday cake with the same consistency. Overall, we're happy to report this is still a divine treat that will take you on a salted caramel and chocolatey flavor overload when you take each bite.
So here's what you need to know if you're going to Disney World this week. The spring season is here in Orlando, and unfortunately that means warmer weather, which can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on who you ask. Looking ahead at the weather forecast, it's supposed to get into the high 80s, so be prepared for that Orlando sun. You can also expect a little rain next week as well. And again, it's still spring break in Disney World, so if you're thinking about buying Genie Plus to help you skip some of those long lines, expect prices to continue to reach their high points of over $30 per person. Another popular merchandise collection is now available online. The Disney Eats Macaron Collection includes an ear headband, a lounge fly backpack, a tumbler, and a spirit jersey zip hoodie. If you're not heading to the parks anytime soon but have your eye on one of these pieces, now is your time. You can click the link down below to grab something for yourself. So that's the news for today. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. The link to sign up is in the description. It's totally free. We'll keep you updated on all the biggest Disney news. Thanks for listening, everyone, and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.